Hey, what's happening guys? Today, ultimately, we're gonna make a 555 timer based LED dimmer. But first of all, we're gonna talk about the 555 A-stable uh, multi-vibrator mode, how it works, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so I've drawn in a 555 timer and our components. So pin eight is our VCC pin, and that goes to our rail. We're using six volt DC. The 555 timer is good for what, four volts up to 16 volts, somewhere in that area. Also, our reset pin gets tied high. All right. And this first resistor goes high. And that resistor actually both of them are 470 ohms all right so then we have pin one which is our ground pin goes to ground pin five which is called what control control voltage pin five is yeah, control voltage. And that is going to go through a capacitor to ground that is a 0 0.01 microfarad. This, any small capacitor is fine. That really doesn't matter. Now, you see we've created a voltage divider here with these two resistors. And where they go together goes to pin 7, and pin 7 is our discharge pin. Now this one here is going to connect to pin six, which is threshold. And we're gonna connect our threshold to our trigger. This is your standard A-stable multi-vibrator circuit. And then these two resistors go to another capacitor which in this case, I forget what I used, is one microfarad. So that is our voltages and grounds. Then our signal comes out of pin three to that resistor, which is a 1K current limiting resistor for the LED, which then goes to ground. So that is your standard 555 timer setup. And here it is. I'm gonna move the camera here. Now, well, you can see that, but the power supply is set for six volts. Hook up my ground first. This green wire is just bridging the grounds to both sides. And there you see we have an LED that is being pulsed with modulated. But you can't see that. So let's bring in the oscilloscope. Again, always hooking my ground references up first. Then we'll grab this right here where it comes out of pin 3. And I'm going to put you up on the oscilloscope. And we'll zoom in. So you can see we are getting just about one kilohertz at a duty cycle of 66.3%. I've used the same value resistors, and when you do that, your duty cycle is always going to be 66%, favoring the on side. And with this setup, we're done. There's nothing you can really do here. Now, we can change one of the resistors out and put in a pot, but it's not really that efficient. We want to be able to control the voltage in and out, the charging and discharging of this capacitor. This capacitor controls the timing. This controls everything. So we're going to change our setup, not significantly, but just a little bit. 
All right. So we have our 555 timer still set up mostly the same over here. There's our output to the LED. We have this pin, um, the control voltage going through that 0.01 microfarad capacitor to ground. One goes to ground, eight and four go to power. And our one first, we're going to put a 1K coming off the VCC rail there. And it is going to connect to these two diodes here like this. And they're going to come into pin seven like that. And they're going to connect to the outer points of a potentiometer. Um, I'm using 50K. Okay, oops, forgot one of my, forgot my timing capacitor. So this is now going to come down to our timing capacitor, going to ground. And it is also going to come to pin six there. And of course, we always connect pin six to pin two. So what we've done now is we have controlled the charging and the discharging of the capacitor. When the capacitor is charging, it's going to come down through this diode, down through here, charge the capacitor. When the capacitor discharges, it's going to come up through here, and it's going to go into pin 7, which is our discharge pin. So we've routed the current in a way we want it to go. And the reason we've done this is so that we can control the duty cycle. We can get something other than 66.6%. So let me bring in that setup here, which you can see right here. Just set up like I showed you. Connect my ground, my power. This potentiometer is set at halfway. Turn it one way. The LED gets much brighter. Turn it the other way. The LED gets much dimmer. So I'm going to set this back to halfway point. And we're going to bring in the oscilloscope. Hook it up there and we'll hook it up right to the output pin. And we'll take you up to the oscilloscope so you can see. So we're right still about the same frequency, right around one kilohertz. Our duty cycle is 56%. Our average voltage is 263 millivolts. But watch what happens when I turn the potentiometer. We can get all the way up to 99.9% .9 almost completely on. And when we go in the other direction, we can get down to 9.4% almost completely off. So that is our LED dimmer. Just a very simple change from your standard A-stable multivibrator or just a 555 oscillator. That's one thing you can do with this. We're going to take it further in an upcoming video, and we're going to take this, and we're going to add in a couple more components, a MOSFET, a flyback diode, and a DC motor. And we're going to take this LED dimmer circuit and turn it into a PWM motor controller. I tell you guys, the 555 timer is one of the most useful ICs that has ever been created. You're going to find it absolutely everywhere. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. That's it. I'm out. Peace.